Stop. What's going to happen to that battery? At best, it will go to a landfill where it will take up space. At worst, the batteries will end up here, in nature, alongside old shoes and plastic bags, whereas chemicals can do nothing but harm. And that's a problem. Fresh alkaline batteries are incredibly useful. They power everything from this flashlight to Dave's computer mouse. But dead batteries often end up where Dave put this one, in the trash. It's not Dave's fault. He doesn't know that batteries are made from zinc, manganese oxide, and steel. He probably doesn't think about the fact that although all three of these materials are very handy, they have to be mined. And mining, it's unsustainable. And it's very bad for ecosystems. Point is, we need to address the fact that these useful, non-renewable resources found in dead alkaline batteries are being wasted in landfills and ditches. The question is, what can a small team of first-year engineering students do about it? The first major challenge was sifting through all the existing solutions that range from hydrometallurgy to just awareness pamphlets. We had to do a lot of research, idea generation, and analysis during that first half of the project. I think it all culminated in a simple but profoundly important realization. Household alkaline batteries in North America have little to no disposal information on them. Any other solution to the waste problem is greatly hindered by the fact that consumers have no reason not to throw away batteries. What did we create? On the surface, we've developed a prototype for a more attention-grabbing and informative AA Duracell battery label. The Not Trash initiative is more than that though. Our aim is to make household battery producers more responsible for the way in which they communicate recycling information with their consumers. This prototype is the start of what will hopefully one day become a style guide that can be implemented in a battery label regulations. But we're going to need to prove that it works first and that it's worth developing. We're just going around showing this QR code to people and offering them high chews if they do our survey for testing our design ideas. Duracell batteries have such a recognizable design and that gave us a basis to start experimenting with by modifying what people already know. We did several early print tests to get a feel for what we were working with. And then eventually we moved on to the survey and got some real feedback from people out in the world. Our surveys suggest that the color green is strongly associated with sustainability and recycling, and it stands out against black. And people like this type of eye-catching image because it is clear and appealing to the eye. Uh, fitting the right amount of information on this tiny AA battery in French and English was definitely a big challenge, so we moved stuff around. We also found that Oswald is an excellent font for this type of design because it's narrow, but it's still very legible when it's small. Oh, and this phrase, um, I am not trash, it's really intended to make people think before throwing something away, and more importantly, to educate them. Uh, and that's what this is for, of course, too. We wanted to be able to provide consumers with more information than we can fit on the label and it's surprising how small QR codes can be. This takes you to a website that has an embedded battery drop-off location search tool, as well as some basic facts about alkaline battery recycling and the Not Trash initiative. The numbers are important too. From a societal standpoint in BC, given a 10-year period with a 10% interest and 5% growth rate, the total present value of our solution is a benefit of $4,114,000. Our in-depth analysis says this increase in value is based on both monetary and non-monetary factors, like environmental benefits. Sure, our solution still requires the consumer to do their part and take the batteries into the depot or the library, but you don't have to do it immediately. The point of our solution is to make you think twice before throwing it away in the first place. That's right, Jazz. We want you to know that batteries are not trash. So let's try it again, shall we, Dave? <laughs>